All right, I got me a camper shell for my 81. It's a Stutz Travitop. That's kind of broken. Let's see if we can do something about that. Uh, I want to do like a video series of me kind of fixing this thing up. I think that'd be pretty fun. Uh, it's got the bubble wi bubble windows, and you can actually like see through them, kinda. Uh, I got some stuff that might clean the fog up, but for this one of the topper is pretty cool that they're not fogged up more than they are. It's got four of these uh, roll out windows that I think I've gotten all of them to finally like roll out on their own. It's got a hole right here. I got something to patch that, so. That's a little loose. Uh, I, got some, I already got some junk back here, so don't pay attention to that. That's the, uh, these are like the screens for the windows. Uh, I took, they just screw on it. They already took those off so I can lube up these hinges and stuff. There's a dirt dogger's nest. Uh, it's in pretty good shape in here. It does leak when it rains, but I think that's because these windows uh, basically have no caulking left on them and they leak a lot. You can like see right through them. So I'm gonna have to address that. It's really dirty in here. I tried to clean up a little bit, but obviously it needs more. The shocks, they're like spring shocks, but they're pretty nasty. I'll probably try to take these off with a wire wheel or something. Like I said before, I would like to do a series, uh, I guess restoring this. I don't know what the right word would be for this. Uh, and then I'd like to build like a camper in here, like a bed, like right here, bar and a sink right here. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. That's gonna have to be addressed too. These are supposed to, uh, you see how that works. These are supposed to go in and out and they're seized up. So I could probably buy some new ones, but I'd like to not so I could save money. It's a little rough, but yeah. I picked it up a couple months ago from a junkyard. I put a picture right here. Uh, it was on an old Ford, and the cab on this Ford was pretty, a couple inches taller than these. So, it fit that truck pretty good. As you see, there's a little bit, kind of, overhang sticking up right there. But, overall, I think it looks pretty cool in here. One of the first things we're going to be taking is the latching mechanism, so I can get it latching. And then, probably the shocks, because these honestly just look ugly. The latches I have already taken off. Uh, I did that yesterday. They're not the best looking. I think they'll clean up. They do still work, both of them do. That's not the right size.
these are literally held on there with a nail that has been bent. So that's that's custom. And that was just a piece of wire. So Okay. So the observant kind would be noticing this little spring sticking out. Um, there's supposed to be a little thing in there. Actually, it's this. It came out with it. That is supposed to hold this in here while you can take the nut out or the bolt out. And it didn't. So now i got to shove this back in here. So that's fun.
That needs bending out, but that's how it's supposed to be. So that's cool. That only took 45 minutes. I needed to do something with the truck and I didn't really want to hold this open so I put this on off camera. Uh, these are just held on with uh, cotter pins. I figured that would work better than the nail that was holding it on before. So that's pretty cool. That needs to be replaced but I'm not going to. I want to get one that has a key to lock it, but I ain't got that, so.